all right guys let's talk about something very important uh, which is the narrow band the narrow band was added I think in Houdini 16.5 or 17 I don't know uh, but it's very important and if you just want to uh, simulate the uh, the outer surface layer of the water and don't want to simulate the particles here inside inside this domain here okay so uh, when you just create the simulation in the uh, in the old versions of Houdini you need to make sure that your tank is filled with water here okay just to for, uh, just to the boundaries here because uh, if you don't just uh, make your water level uh, uh, just uh, just match your boundary here it, the water will fall down by the effect of the gravity okay so uh, here if you just see from the right view for example our water here is up here and uh, the boundaries is down so uh, I didn't add water or I didn't increase the water level uh, to reach or to match my boundaries down here so uh, the narrow band uh, make sure make sure the that the water will not fall down and it, it just simulates the uh, the areas of interest under the under the domain here so uh, what I mean by this let me see here uh, here I have three different values of the water level okay if you just see here the plane crashes here uh, on the outer surface this outer surface is simulated because we have their particles and Houdini recedes particles in the uh, areas of interest or, or areas under the, uh, the, with the water level here where, but not all the areas uh, or uh, it doesn't Houdini doesn't recede particles or create, or create particles in the areas uh, in, in every area here or under or the, all of this domain or under the whole domain here of water but it just creates the uh, particles here or recede particles in the areas where something collide or uh, something interesting happens so the areas uh, down here that uh, where my plane here moves after it crashes into water uh, like here you see that there are particles here receded in these areas and surely this affects our simulation and makes it uh, accurate because uh, if, if we just simulate the surface of water there will not be a depth of uh, of our water and the simulation will be shallow and won't go up like this okay so uh, this simulates the depth the depth of our simulation and the depth of our simulation uh, uh, of in the version in the old versions you had to create the depth of here or create particles here until it matches our boundaries but here with this narrow band technique the depth is simulated in just the areas that you have a collision or uh, something interesting and we didn't detect this by itself and you will see so uh, how to enable this is just here in the narrow band tab which is linked to the narrow band parameters in the uh, uh, in, in the flat tank node or the flat tank initial so here if you increase just this bandwidth to 4 for example this will increase the uh, the layer of the particles as you see it increases the thickness here and surely this will make uh, different effects and uh, I usually stick to the level of 3 okay so if you just here go to the uh, flip tank initia we have here the narrow band enabled and it's linked to the uh, enable the, the check on the dot network okay so uh, we have this layer size here which is linked to bandwidth and it's uh, the bandwidth plus or multiplied by the particle separation 
and some stuff we don't we don't need to know this okay so when you increase the uh, bandwidth it increases the size of the layer and also this uh, and this will affect our simulation and you can just try different values and different layer sizes and bandwidth uh, and this is uh, this is your choice I usually stick to three okay but you can just change the water level as I did here different water levels uh, give, give the meaning of shallow or deep water so here's the plane here uh, goes into uh, goes into this uh, large depth here and here the depth is, is smaller and here it's even smaller okay so uh, this will give the uh, meaning of shallow water or deep water and this will surely make different values like you see here this is uh, the depth water the deep, very deep water and yeah here it's more shallow and here it's shallow here so uh, this gives different effects and affects the uh, shape of our splash so I've stuck to a value of 0.328 water level here but you can just change it uh, maybe to 1 or anything that you want so this will change your water level and change your uh, your narrowband simulation and actually this technique is very good and I love it very much because uh, you don't have to create the depths of your tank here uh, and fill it with particles it just uh, simulates the particles in the areas of interest only and uh, surely this uh, saves a lot of time of simulations and a lot of uh, memory usage and this is very good okay so this is for this video and wait for me in the next videos goodbye